Hey, Miles. I'm getting used to hearing that voicemail of yours. Dropped you a pin. Want to come through? Yeah, Claire. What? Too busy to visit your fan? No. I was just giving you space after you got out. Don't need it. Besides, we got to settle some things. We do? See you soon, kid. Just go see him and get it over with, Mouse. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me... Not my birthday, guys. No need for the surprise. I'm trying to help you out here. trouble for a little crystal. So I told the cops that someone's out to get us, but they don't listen to me. No one ever does. Time to take matters into my own hands. No one has seen Marco in years. I would have been there for him if I knew he was in trouble. Hey, I was just talking to my source at the raft. Marco's been belligerent and incoherent since he got there. But they said he's starting to show signs of improvement. Whatever you're doing with those crystals, keep it up. Just go see him and get it over with, Mouse. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something... Fireworks? Better warn those guys they're illegal here without a permit before someone calls the cops on them. Get him to a hospital. I knew those fireworks looked shady. Is he gonna be okay? I think so. Looks like he's just unconscious, but I'm not taking any chances. Ah, uh, where am I? Spider-Man? Don't worry, I'm taking you to a hospital. Also, for obvious reasons, I gotta tell you, personal fireworks are illegal in New York. Uh, but we didn't know. They're for our brother, Lex. We, we lost him a few years ago, and he always loved them. So we try to launch a few around his birthday. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I can't believe we all used to have to walk around. Spider-Man? Wow. At least I can still wiggle my toes. There. The staff here is great. They'll take good care of you. Thanks. Actually, wait. If those fireworks we bought were sketchy, maybe you should check where we got them from. Some docks north of us between those two bridges. I think I know which place you mean. I'll take a look. Hey, just dropped Mike off. He thought I should check where y'all bought your fireworks from, too. The dock guys? That's a good call, but watch out. I know I saw two of them with guns, like serious guns. I'll be careful. Thanks. Bro, watch it next to that barrel. We can't make any money if our stock blows up. You want to do this? Get back to checking the guns and let me work my magic.
I got a bad feeling about today. warn you about some shady characters telling bad Yo, wait a second! Happy birthday, Lex. Was that you? Oh, man. I hope Mike saw that from the hospital. Lex would have loved it. Hope y'all enjoy your time in New York. Stay safe. Just go see him and get it over with, Miles. Then we focus on whoever took Lee and Scorpion. Something tells me they're planning something big. Can't put this off forever. Gotta go see Uncle Aaron. I'm missing Grandpa at Prospect Park. Oh man, I better go check that out. Incoming! <laughs> <laughs> 
There's an ambulance not too far away. I'll drop you right off. Oh my god! Thank you! How fast can you drop? Hope that wasn't too rough of a trip. Take care. Bless you, Spider-Man! What was the deal with those guys? I felt like they came out of a cult. Better tell Pete about them. Disaster befalls our beautiful city. And guess who's to blame? In what should have been a routine prison transfer, the Spider-Men felt the need to inject themselves into a situation that was already being handled by the proper authorities and completely botched it. A new group of mercenaries made their presence known in the hijacking of the supervillain Scorpion and Mr. Negative. Not much is known about this new collective, other than their pension for animal skins. But one thing is abundantly clear. The Spider-Man did nothing to impede them. Had law enforcement been allowed to do their jobs, these criminals wouldn't be in the wind right now. Looks like we have an eyewitness calling in. Color, you're live. Hi, Jonah. Thanks for having me. Just want to point out that what you're saying is a total lie. Here we go. I was there on the pier. Law enforcement was completely outmatched. The Spider-Men saved countless lives and almost stopped those bow and arrow geeks, too. First, you're lucky to be alive. Second, let me ask you, just this week alone, can you guess how much property damage those vigilantes are responsible for? No, but that's not the issue here. I don't have time to get into a circuitous whataboutism argument when there are costume criminals reducing our city to rubble on a daily basis. Think of all the shipping delays we're gonna face because of this. When you can't shave because your favorite cream is trapped in shipping hell, make sure you thank the Spider-Man. Time for the bureaucrats to do their job. We need action. And also, a word from our sponsors. Spider-Man, thank you for coming. I'm looking for my Grandpa Earl. He kept talking about meeting someone here, and now he's gone, and... Can you please help me find him? Any clues on where he might be? Just this picture. He was staring at it all morning. Hmm. This looks familiar. Some kind of exhibit. This looks like it was taken 60 years ago. Around the same time of year, too. I'll find him. Don't worry. Please hurry. He gets confused, and I just don't want him to get scared or hurt or... <laughs> don't worry. I'll find him. Hmm. <laughs> no grandpa. But let's see what I can find. Wonderful Earl. Yep, this is him.
Hey, I didn't find your grandpa yet, but I did find a note for him. It name drops a botanical garden. My grandparents used to take weekend walks through the botanical gardens. That has to be where he is. There's got to be a garden in Prospect Park somewhere. If I can figure out what's in the inhaler, I could probably create a trail leading to Grandpa. Let's see here. Got it. Your grandpa isn't at the gardens, but I was able to create a trail using his inhaler. That should lead me right to him. Oh, no. Really? Please hurry. He needs that thing like he needs lungs. <sighs> Lately, I've been so busy. Sometimes taking care of him felt like a thing I had to do. But the thought of losing him... All I want is to sit with him. What's wrong with me? Don't be so hard on yourself. Trying to keep responsibility straight is tough. Trust me, I get it. You're doing your best. <coughs> I found him by the lake. I'll hang with him until you get here. You did? I'm on my way. Stay right there. Hey there, sir. Spider-Man? Whatever you think I did, I didn't. <laughs> Your granddaughter's looking for you, sir. Granddaughter? Oh. Well, tell her I'll be back in a minute. I propose to my wife here. Right here, where we sit. Man, you're making the rest of us look bad. How'd you ask? First off, we had to go to the zoo. Never met a soul who loved animals more than that woman. I was terrified. I meant to ask her at the meerkats. <laughs> she said they reminded her of me. But my knees were knocking, man. I couldn't see straight. We left the zoo and just kept walking. Ended up here. She... If you saw her, man, just perfect, but clumsy. Nearly fell into that pond there, <laughs> face first. You ever been in love, Spider-Man? I, uh, maybe. It's beautiful. Nothing more beautiful. Can I tell you something, Spider-Man? I know I'm fading. It's scary as hell. Thought I'd be ready, but nothing gets you ready. Nothing. When I'm here, it's like she is too. Like I'm living it all over again. All nervous and sweating and whatnot. Then I look into her eyes and it's like I'm home. I was so nervous that day, Spider-Man. Almost didn't even ask. It's like I blinked. And she's gone. I'm sorry. 
You said my granddaughter was looking for me? Let's go see her. I should have guessed you'd come here. Sorry we lost track of each other. It was my fault for wandering off. But Spider-Man took good care of me. Had a nice chat about your grandma. Oh, yeah? She used to love this spot, huh? I feel like I spent every weekend here with her, feeding the ducks. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> Did it your mom ever get ready? not to steal? <laughs> you guys waiting around for me? Y'all are being really possessive. How can you still see me? abandoned school in Harlem and I'm already beginning to regret this Marco thought no one else could help him feel for the guy building it in 1901 finished in 1909 I thought it was old when I was a kid but now it's just amazing the history that's in this city Crystal's mine this time. How's 
it going, my sandy friends? These guys won't let up! That sand crystal has my name all over it. I find them, and they're waiting for me. With all sorts of weapons. What the hell have I walked into? Waiting for them with weapons? They knew who they were dealing with. Yeah, that'll definitely work. You know, I saw an old Grandmaster playing there last week. Anyone could walk up and challenge him. And he lost to a kid who lives down the street from me. Damn. I've never seen anything like it. Okay, let's see what we got. They're circling me, Miha. Oh, wishing I'd just stayed home with you, Kimia. Helped you with your homework. Made you the one meal that I know how to cook. But it's too late now. Kimia's Marco's daughter. I had no idea. Check back in on Marco. He's steadily improving, making more and more sense. He's even eating again. Doctors are hopeful. Good work.
stage or in the open air. Where else can you see legends and soon-to-be legends performing every day? London? That's really far away. constitutional right in New York. It's your civic duty. Especially when a multinational corporation is behind a bioweapon unintentionally getting released into the city. terrible things that happen in our city, people will be afraid to leave their homes, live their lives. But not today. Definitely work. Reminds me of the people who ride into the bugle. And a few who work there. Freedom of speech is a beautiful thing. But saying a thing over and over again doesn't make it true. We gotta do this with the mask on? Depends. Relax. I'm not trying to get my ass kicked by my nephew again. Your dad used to give me that exact same look. Martin Lee. Someone got him out. I know what you're thinking, Miles. This is not on you. We can't let him live up here. It's just another kind of prison. It's not that easy. Never said it was. But sometimes you gotta push the past away so you can make room for the future. That's actually why I call. Need your help getting something. Could get it myself, but parole means Prowler's retired. What is it? Just some old tech I gotta get off the street. Stashed it by a decommissioned Roxxon lab near Central Park. 
Yeah, I know the one. Are you really putting Prowler behind you? Behind us. You getting some? How did you... And Miles, that Lee business? Don't be stupid. I'm serious, Miles. I've heard this dude could turn your brain into scrambled eggs. Leave it alone. Now, what else is going on with you? Our school, college, everyone you like? I don't know. So there is someone. I'm here. What am I looking for? Just use your eyes, nephew. Uploaded some Prowler code into your mask when I swiped it. Of course you did. The stash stays hidden until it detects the code from my suit. Last step is to decrypt the key. Give it a shot. Don't cheat. Take your time. Done. Not bad, kid. Another gate. Pull it open from down here. You would have made a decent prowler. You should be seeing how to get inside now. Yo, this is next level, man. Hit this whole room in plain sight. Got it. You wanna finally tell me what this is? Old suit prototypes. Feel free to keep it. Some good tech in there. Cool. Could definitely use this. Listen, this isn't the only stash. Oh. Um. Whoever freed Lee sounds like my tech is right up their alley. I want it falling into the wrong hands. You're the only person I trust with this. Okay. I got you. Coordinates are in the mask. Thanks, nephew. Don't be a stranger. Wonder what Ma's gonna say about this. Oye, Miles. Me enteré de lo que pasó con el transfer y con... Está bien. Sí, Ma. Todo bien. Estaba ayudando a Uncle Aaron with some stuff. Ah. ¿Y cómo está él? Está trotando. Pues qué bueno. Mami, te veo en casa. And before you ask me again, estoy bien. Te lo juro. Te quiero. Let's head out into the city. See what's going on. Maybe even find Lee while I'm at it. Because our <laughs> dazzling displays of daring do can't be understood by the conscious mind. But you still get that we're spider bros. Nice. Does it <laughs> Well, well, well. Spider-Man's a shutterbug. Click, click. Win, win. Yeah. Some things in New York you just can't explain. And that's what's great about it. Miles? Club fair? Remember? You on your way? Oh, right. That's today. Mr. Atlas is confirmed to be here. He's got the best music technology program in the state. And I heard he's talking scholarships. I have so many questions for him. Be there soon.
Police are showing a stash near the top of the Braxton building. How does he come up with this stuff? Just send me out to your crap and forget to mention lasers. Pretty quiet. Still no sign of Lee. Or the gang that took him. Wonder if Pete's having better luck than me. Hey, Unc. Why'd you stash tech in this skyscraper? Ever heard of the Braxton Heist? Uh, no. Exactly. It was my debut score as the prop. First time working with the crew, too. We went in to steal prototypes from Braxton's secret tech division. But this kid double-crossed us. Oh! Never got a name. She was good. Pro. Beef in the truest sense of the word. Wasn't mad, though. It was a valuable lesson. I'm starting to get why you were dad's toughest case. <laughs> good looking out on the stage, kid. Wonder who got the best of Uncle Aaron. Not many people can do that. I think there's a prowler stash nearby. to move that somewhere else. <clears throat> Opened up plenty of these before. Don't mind if I do. Master's tech. Everything good, kid? Got a few unauthorized access attempts for my stash in the shipping yard. Yeah. That group that took Lee showed up. They must be real good if they found it. Even your dad wasn't able to. Dad? It was the first showdown between Officer Jefferson Davis and the Prowler. Had to hide in that shipping container for hours just to lose him. 
Almost wish he'd caught me right then and there. Never wanted him to get involved. Well, I'm glad you're out of the game now. Stay safe, Hunk. Same, man. Will do. Back around here somewhere. Hey, Miles. What's up? Hey, good to see you. Man, I can't believe Mr. Atlas is gonna be here at BV. Maybe one of those scholarships has my name on it. If he likes my sound. Morales, looking fresh. Thanks. You too. New reproductive technologies are on the horizon. Check it out on this brochure. We've got preventative contraception information. Please consult your parents and your primary care physician. They'll help you find what's right for you. Yes, those are free. Remember to stay safe. Miles, glad you made it. Oh, hey, Mr. Sinclair. Oh, hmm. I just love seeing all this innovation in action. Oh, have you heard about the chemistry club? They're filling in while Miss Ferguson gets ready to demo the new robotics drone. She's running late. Presentation's on the main stage. Oh, yeah. I'll try to make it over there. Enjoy the show. Thanks. See you around. If it isn't Morales, the music master. What's up, Delisai? You here to see that university rep, Mr. Atlas? Yeah, definitely. Nice astronomy booth. Thanks. You should stop by later. I made a 3D model of Saturn, but get this. <laughs> it's cake! I'll save you a slice. Hmm, thanks. to him about that computational physics program. We got your missing person report half an hour ago. What happened? That's just it. We don't know. She left to get something from her car and then never came back. I just heard two words, missing in person. So I'm gonna say yes. Go ahead. We'll save your seat. I gotta catch up to the principal. Maybe I can find out more. Do you have any of her personal items? Yeah. 
she left her phone behind. Is it unlocked? Have you seen it? Here we go. Just some notifications from her fitness tracker. It's counting her steps, wherever she is. <sighs> the students adore Miss Ferguson. I hope she's all right. Please find her. We'll do our best. Miss Ferguson's missing. Oh, man. Sounds like she's still wearing her fitness tracker. Wonder if I could find that signal. All right. Let's see where this fitness tracker is. Last known location, Dawson Harbor. Beginning text-to-speech call with Haley Cooper. Miles, Mr. Atlas just got here. ETA? Oh, man. Gotta find Miss Ferguson first. Be there when I can. He's handing out scholarship applications right now. Uh, can you get one for me? I'll do better than that. Sent you a link. Thanks. Good luck. And hurry. Gotta be around here somewhere. Better do this quietly. Hey yo, Miles. What's up, Genki? Can this wait? Not really. I've got Mr. Atlas here. I told him how you were missing the fair for volunteer work, and he asked for a phone call with you. Is uh now a good time? Thanks, Genki. But now is definitely not a good time. Here he is, Mr. Atlas. I know you've got a flight to catch. Genki! Hi. Miles? Uh, yeah. Hello. You're whispering. Is now a bad time? Uh, no. I'll make it work. That's me. Great. I heard you're interested in our music technology program. So, tell me about yourself. What do you do for fun? Fun? Uh, well, I used to do music production. But it's been hard to find time lately. Genki here showed me some of your samples. Good stuff. Particularly your song called Swinging. What was your inspiration? Uh, yeah. I was, uh, just swinging one day and thinking. Uh, the tune just kind of came to me. Interesting. And can you tell me about what's important to you in life? Being there for people when they need me. Being reliable, trustworthy. Someone people can depend on. Very interesting. And finally, why do you think you'd make a great addition to our school? I don't give up. And, uh, I care about doing the right thing. I won't let you down. Fascinating. Well, Miles, thanks for your time. I think I've got enough here. Thanks. Uh, do you want my email so we can stay in touch, or, uh... That could have gone better. Maybe I can make it back to BV in time to meet Mr. Atlas in person and clarify some things. Those guys out of the way. Let's see where that tracker signal leads. There she is. This glass looks pretty breakable. I got you. Are you okay? I'm fine. But who are these people? How do they know I work for Rand? Let's figure that out when we're not in the hostage situation. Time to watch the spider. You're dead, Spider Man. He's ours. You hide. I've got these guys. Yeah! 
kidnapping. How am I supposed to let that slide? by yourself? It's in my job description. Ready to go? Are you going to carry me? Sure. I've carried people before. As long as I can get verbal confirmation that if I throw up on you, you won't sue me. Consider this confirmation. Just try to tell a brother first. Spider-Man, our treasured teacher, Miss Ferguson, is back with us safe and sound. To show our gratitude, it is my honor to declare Spider-Man the official hero of Brooklyn Visions. <laughs> you are always welcome here, Spider-Man. Thank you. And now, back to the quad. We've got a robotics demonstration to do. Much time. Hi, Miles. I appreciate your dedication to interviewing, but I could tell you were clearly busy with something important. Mr. Sinclair put in an excellent word for you, as did Principal Evans. So let's do this right and meet this week on campus, in person. 